The cutaway is an important shot to understand because it can help you out in so many ways when you're boarding a tricky sequence or a long piece of dialogue between characters or when you want to change the setup smoothly and quickly. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the two main ways that this shot is used. The first instance that a cutaway is most helpful is when you're in the middle of a sequence and you want to show the audience something important or new visual information. Then you cut to your cutaway or insert shot. In this instance here, I've got two characters in a restaurant. They're talking away to each other and a cutaway shows a waiter dramatically placing a gun onto one of the plates. In a very simple and direct manner, we've sort of notched up the tension and cued the audience up to something dramatic that's going to happen. But the cutaway certainly doesn't have to be a big dramatic reveal. It can be a small side note or a quick glance at something that simply adds to the action. Here, the cutaway could just as easily have been a shot of plates coming out of the kitchen. If, say, the script is simply about two guys in a restaurant having their lunch. So it's usually something that isn't explicitly said in the dialogue, but it's part of the story and so you want to direct the audience's attention to see it. Now I'll look at the second instance that you're most likely to use the cutaway. When I spoke before about corresponding shots and the patterns of shots that are used to treat certain sequences, I was making the point that some combination of shots have to go together because they're visually logical. They make a scene flow and they ensure that your audience doesn't get confused about where everyone is and what's taking place. But sometimes you will want to break that flow and establish a new camera angle or a new setup and it can be tricky to know how to get out of a set combination of shots. The answer usually is to use a cutaway. Let's go back to this scene in the restaurant. Say you want to show uh, this guy getting up and putting on his coat. You'd have to cut back to a wide shot, then have him walk over, maybe get his coat, put it on, change the camera angle, all that stuff. Or you could use a cutaway. You could cut to a close-up, say, of the clock on the wall showing the time. Then your next shot is the guy already standing up with his coat on. The audience will automatically know that he had time to go through the whole action. It's a smoother cut because you've used the close-up of the clock to bridge that time gap. Plus, it gives important visual clues to the story. That shot of the clock implies that maybe this guy is in a hurry. He can't be late. There's something going on. Think of the cutaway as one of your finest editing tools. It's a tool that can give you a lot of flexibility for continuity, story progression, and even, as we've just seen, for compressing time. In the next tutorial, I'm going to take an in-depth look at point-of-view shots and over-the-shoulder shots, and I'll show you how these camera angles can really help audience identification with your characters.